you think it's possible to give up two highly addictive habits, cold turkey, without going insane? I do not have the support around me. How do I literally turn my life upside down? So she's Pepsi's, 70 plus ounces a day, smoking, Cigarettes. Oh eats very God. few vegetables. God. So All right. how do you start? Well, you know what? There are two schools of thought with this, truthfully. One school of thought will tell you baby steps and you know very gradually make these small changes, and that's been very effective for a lot of people. Although, I've taken on the whole enchilada on The Biggest Loser and basically said, look, we're turning it all around, a whole new leaf, and that's called incompatible behavior. So when you start exercising and you start eating right, you're not going to want to jump out of the gym and light up a smoke. Right. You're not going to think, oh, I feel so refreshed. I just went for a five-mile run. Let me chug a soda. <laughs> it's, you know, right. it, it, so the psychology of being mm -hmm. unhealthy while you're right. being so healthy is incompatible. Mm -hmm. That said, you don't want to go all or nothing with anything. Cigarettes we can do completely without. Mm -hmm. Sodas. Here's what I did to get off of the soda. I started getting sparkling water, and I would put little splashes of fruit juice in it, uh -huh. and it really helped me, and it's yes. going to take at least... It took me about a month mm -hmm. to complete. I thought I was narcoleptic. I would just literally pass out at the table because <laughs> you're so addicted to I the just, chemicals. I know. And I would also say it's okay to have caffeine in moderation to help you get through uh, dropping soda. So right. 400 milligrams a day, that's two strong cups of coffee, or go to tea.